the concepts of perimeter, area and volume relate to every shape imaginable. Perimeter is a 1D concept, area is 2D and volume exists in 3D. The most common manufactured shape is a cuboid. It is three dimensional and is easy to pack, stack and transport. It's a good place to start when thinking about perimeter, area and volume. The perimeter is the outline edge that surrounds a closed figure. Suppose you wrap a string around a regular polygon, a square for example. The length of the string would be its perimeter. We call it the circumference when talking about circles. Perimeter is a line with a one-dimensional length and so is measured in linear units, such as meters. Think of the length of a fence required to enclose a garden, or a line marking out a swimming pool. Area describes the amount of space covered by the surface of a two-dimensional shape. Suppose you need to tile the floor of a room. The amount of floor space you need to cover with the tiles is its area. Its formula is length times width and is measured in squared units, such as meters squared. Consider the space covered by this garden. How much space is there inside the line of the fence? What is the surface area of this swimming pool? Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space something takes up. Think of the third dimension of a cuboid. We already know that the length times the width gives us the surface area of any particular face. Its depth is its third dimension and is used to calculate its volume. The formula for volume is length times width times depth and is measured in cubed units, such as cubic meters. How much water do you think you'd need to fill up this swimming pool? Let's explore these concepts in more detail. To work out the perimeter of a regular polygon, we need to measure the total length of its outside edge. We can also calculate it using some formula that you may have seen before. Working out the perimeter of more complex shapes such as an irregular polygon can be a bit trickier. We must start out with what we know and calculate the missing values using formula. We can use Pythagoras theorem or trigonometry to find missing lengths of triangles. Sometimes we even estimate or use scale factors to compare shapes to work out a perimeter. The same is applied to calculating the area of a shape. There are a set of formulae we can use to calculate the area of regular polygons. Irregular polygons are a little more difficult. How would you work out the area of a shape like this? We can start by dividing it into two shapes we know. Could this method help us to work out the area of the UK? When referring to 3D shapes, we often think of regular polyhedra, such as cubes and rectangular or triangular prisms. A prism has two parallel end faces that are the same size and shape. Other 3D shapes include the cylinder, the pyramid and the sphere. We must know how to calculate both the surface area and the volume of 3D shapes. The surface area of a three-dimensional object is the total area of all of its faces. Sketching a net of the object can help us calculate it. The net of a cuboid shows that the surface area has six faces. It can be calculated by adding up the area of each. A cube has six identical square faces. We can use this formula to calculate the surface area and volume. The volume of solids is expressed in cubic measurements such as cubic meters. Just as with area, we must follow a set of formula to calculate the volume of 3D shapes. For prisms and cylinders, remember that the volume is the cross section times the length. We can go on to calculate the volume of more complex shapes knowing the right formula. Rearranging formula is an important skill for us to develop. We can find the length of a prism if we know the volume and area of the base. We do this by changing the subject of the formula. Look at this problem. Changing the subject of it helps us find the solution. Changing the subject also helps us to calculate the radius or diameter of a cylinder when we know its other dimensions. There are many complex shapes that we are familiar with and use every day. Being able to work out perimeter, area and volume helps in almost every job role and in our day-to-day -day problem solving. The maths in this video builds on many of the skills we've already developed in this series. Can you use them to solve these problems?